The MSC in Global Central Banking and Financial Regulation has three main purposes. The first is thought leadership to make sure that we're teaching our students the most up-to-date information and research on monetary policy and financial regulation. The second is a constituency for good financial regulation. We want to create that and contribute to that. And the final part is diversity, to allow finance institutions and indeed central banks to be able to hire from a diverse background and still have people who are trained to the highest level. This programme is special for two reasons. The first is it's focused on how you run a good financial system. The second is that it's a partnership between one of the world's leading central banks, the Bank of England, and a leading university, the University of Warwick. Those two things are unique. People in the most senior positions in central banks or, or financial institutions generally have to be knowledgeable and able to be productive across a whole range of policy areas. The MSC in Central Banking and Financial Regulation is exactly designed for people like that because it covers all of the myriad areas and makes sure that you can develop mastery over those whole areas and become a critical analyst of the particular issues in each and every one of those policy areas. Each of Warwick Business School and the Bank of England brings something different to the picture. Obviously Warwick brings very strong academic credentials and the Bank of England, we hope we have some academic credentials as well, but what we really bring to the picture is real life experience as practitioners in the central banking field. The work we do in a central bank, much of it is really pretty complicated. And in fact, the most dangerous approach to take is to bring in a general expertise and intelligence and apply it to those tasks without any training. The history of finance tells you that every 10 years or so there's a big crisis, but the lesson of history is we need to prepare for that. So I think it's incredibly important that people who want to have a career in central banking do take the time to do training of one sort or another. Some of that can of course be done on the job, other forms of it come in the form of qualification. In this programme, you're part of a global online learning community. So the information is through the internet, where you read and you watch videos. We have webinars, which you take part in and you learn from. There are activities for you to undertake. And then there are also a lot of policy interviews, often with the Bank of England, to bring the whole thing to life. The global aspect of the course has really come to the front. You know, obviously the course is about global central banking, but equally the people on the course are from across the globe. You're hearing from people all around the world and the challenges they face or the innovation that their central bank is, is looking at. So yeah, the, the global aspect is really good. I think that this course is really good for opening your eyes to what's out there. You know, we all work in specialist areas, but actually there's a bigger sector out there. I definitely can feel that my understanding has changed and therefore it's directly applicable in every day.